Okay, hey guys, this is my first uh, winter outlook. Um, there's gonna be a lot of these, uh, just because winter is the most uh, highly anticipated season, I guess you could say. And most important, uh, most people, it's the most worrisome season, per se. Most people are worried. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you guys my thoughts, just because I see some other people making their winter outlooks, so I don't wanna be, you know, behind or anything. So. First off, we're going to start out with temperatures, and yes, I did make this with uh, paint, not um, PowerPoint. Um, I just wanted to try out paint, and it looks pretty nice, so until my official forecast, I'll just go ahead and use paint. I might even use paint for my official. I don't even know. Anyway, here's my temperature outlook. We have well above average, above average, and slightly above average. <coughs> uh, average temperatures, slightly below average temperatures, basically for the east. Oh. A lot like last year, except the cold was centered basically up here last year mostly, but now the south is actually going to get their chance to shine with some below average temperatures. And if I had to draw um, something uh, where the ridge is going to be, ridge is up here, and let's go ahead and make that trough, deep trough. This is if... Um, It'll be like this at times. If there's a nor'easter coming, this would be perfect. Snow all the way up and down the east coast. So, um, sorry about the background noise. Um, so extremely below average, which is six to eight degrees below average here in the south. I do think that that's a definitely a possibility. And I know I'm not being conservative at all with this forecast. So, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. You know what I mean? It's it's so. I mean, it's July. For goodness sake, okay? So, if I'm wrong, there's probably about a 50% chance I'm wrong right now. Um, <laughs> but I have an idea, which is well below average temperatures in this zone, below average temperatures in this zone, um, above average temperatures in this zone, and well above average temperatures in this zone. Let's check out my precipitation forecast. So you can see we've got the light green shade, which would mean um, that would be about, hmm, let's see, that'd be slightly above average precipitation, and then the green would be above average precipitation. So maybe one to two inches above average in this dark green zone. Light green, anywhere from 0 0.0.1 to one inch above average. Slightly below average here, and then above average here. Let's check out a uh, precipitation type map. We'll have our winter battle zone here, anywhere from um, basically um, anywhere from extreme southern Maryland, uh, going around the Appalachians, and you can basically pinpoint your area. But the ba battle zone will, um, if anything, it'll likely go down. Um, I don't think I don't expect it to head any further up. I think that it will go down likely. This is looking like it could be another 20, um, 2014 to 20, or 2013 to 2014. It could be like last winter, a bit. Uh, the big question is, will the storms pull off the coast, the, um, the nor'easters? And it's looking like they could. Let's check out my overall forecast. Uh, my mom's on the phone, and she should really get out of the room that she's in, because it's bothering me, but, and it's... <laughs> bothering my forecast, but, um, let's see, heavy rain in this zone, which means, um, above average precipitation, um, just rainy in this zone, which would mean maybe slightly above average precipitation, but definitely rain, um, I don't see snow happening in these areas really that much, uh, winter battle zone, snow, mix, sleet, freezing rain, or rain in this pink zone, light snow in this zone, uh, this means that this dominates, um, so light snow will dominate, um, they'll get light accumulations, snowy, that would mean that they have the potential for, um, about average, uh, snow amounts. Heavy snow means that they'll probably see some heavy snow accumulations, as well as some good precipitation. Um, it's looking likely that we could see some good, um, some good, um, lake effect then um also heavy snow in these zones because of the nor'easters and then nor'easters potential for blizzards slash extremely heavy snow 
and with nor'easter years and it, when we get um what it looks like it's going to be a below average year uh, extreme, especially in these zones it's really important to get good snows and also seeing the above average precipitation come up the coast too that's a really good sign that we could see some um very heavy snow accumulations in these zones um, compared to their average. I mean, at times we could see, um, especially in the northern portions, I think in the southern portions, we've got a good shot for some eight inch plus storms that happen uh, overnight, literally. So sometimes over an inch per hour. Uh, and then north of here, we could see literally, um, you know, 20 inches plus um, Maine, all these areas north of New Jersey is going to be the border of like the um, lighter accumulations and the heavier accumulations. Either way, pretty strong accumulations. Um, Norfolk, uh, Richmond, Annapolis, um, let's see here, New York, um, Philadelphia, um, Boston, all these areas at risk. So definitely watch out. Um, because we could be seeing some heavy snowstorms this year. Um, I'll update you guys in a week or two on uh, my winter thoughts. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye now.